Welcome to Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Thank you for tuning in once again. Today I have an Audio Pipe AP3000.1D uh, that just came in, and uh, I figured I'd go over a couple points on this board. Uh, so you know this is an early revision uh, one board, so this is their one of their earliest boards and first thing right off the bat I just like to point out when you're working on a board like this there are no discharge resistors for the capacitors so yeah when you're talking you know six eighteen hundred microfarad capacitors wired up you've got something that can pack a pretty good punch so please make sure you discharge your rectifiers. I discharge them through a, a, a two ohm, 250 watt resistor um, across the rectifiers. Just discharges the uh, stored up energy in those capacitors before working on these. Just a little safety point there for you. Uh, so I did have to do a board repair let me switch views on this here for you. So I did have to do a board repair um, on this board. So I did an epoxy repair again. Well, this was completely burnt through. There's no, there's no vias here or anything. So I'll, I will have to direct wire the transistor uh, back to uh, where it's supposed to go, which is no big deal to wire those uh, transistors to the traces. And uh, as I was disassembling this board, I, I noticed that a lot of the vias, the top, the via through the board is still there, but tops or bottoms are missing on the vias. So I'm going to make sure that each transistor leg is uh, securely installed and soldered into place onto the traces. Uh, as you can see it's missing here this is the, the gate so I'll have to make sure since this gate is fed from the top that I have to run a jumper from the trace that I've uncovered here uh, to the gate of the uh, transistor so I think I'm gonna put 3205s in this one I could probably get away with just some 44 Z's but uh, I've got lots of 3205s I was going to use 3205s in this so I think the main failure of this board, uh, let me see, let me, I'm gonna try to get you the best shot I can here. If you notice, this board is missing all of its interconnecting wiring. So I'm just gonna point out that the flux that was used ate completely through the copper wire uh, on this board and it holds true for every connection on all the 8 gauge wire uh, that was used to jumper in between the two boards so you can see that there's just a couple strands of copper that was holding on uh, so I do believe that was the failure of this board although this board has been worked on before so I think it just had a compounding problem um, over time again I go back to the mismatched uh, transistors um, I'm real big on making sure things are matched that can share the load evenly uh, when you're dealing with something like this that I mean you want this thing to be just as stable as possible to keep that power supply from sagging so again you know match transistors are, are are good to have I know everyone has their opinions on it but uh, that's what I do on all my boards you get what you pay for I don't I don't charge a lot for repairs uh, I think a lot of people can contest that and I do make sure that uh, everything is accurate 100% matched just to provide a good working amplifier
and then on these early boards all their protection is through trace shunts their well their shunt resistors is what they are uh, but this board uses all trace shunts on the bottom side of the board that in these earlier versions tend to have tend to burn up let me see if I can get you a shot of the shunt here so the shunt for the negative rail is here and then let me see do I have a view here and then the shunt for the output is right here it goes from here it goes up and around and back down so there's your uh, output shunt and on the uh, side that has the output terminal they actually have a uh, shunt in place that is they use a heat sink which is an obvious sign that they've had problems in the past for these shunts burning up which I have seen these shunts come in burned up so so the newer boards they've gotten away from using these trace shunts and they have gone back to the original um, shunt resistors so that's currently where I'm at with this board um, I'm in the process of getting the power supplies put back together uh, I do have drive on both power supplies so I am good to start rebuilding the uh, power supply transistors uh, the, uh, with the gate resistors and getting all that put back together and then we'll move on to testing the output so that was just a quick rundown of these early AP3000s. And um, I do thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for part two of this. And we will get this put back together. Thank you. Uh, please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And we will see you again.